Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about data sharing between the components using a service. So for that sake, I'll create two routes. One route is related to sender and one more route related to receiver. So I want to pass the data from one route to another route via this services. So how can we pass that data? So already we discussed about passing the data via routes in our routing of Angular. Here we will see how to pass the data between the services. So let me go into Visual Studio Code and create some set of components. So let me use ng generate and the component name is sender component and I'll use something like skip hyphen tests. I'm just skipping the test files. Now I'll create ng generate component and the component name is receiver component and this receiver component I'm just skipping the test files here as well. So now we have two components and let me create two routes. So let me go into our routes configuration app.routing.module and inside the routes I want to create this two routes. So let me use a path and the path is something like sender and I'll not use any lazy loading and stuff just I'm using a component. Just I want you to understand the services logic not the lazy loading logic. So that's why I'm not concentrating on the lazy loading. So this is sender component. And I have one more path, something like receiver. So I have a path called as receiver, which is pointing to a component called as receiver component. And now we have two routes. And let me create a default path, which is something related to an empty. And it has to redirect our logic into our sender by default. And I want to use something like path match that is equivalent to full. So let me use this configurations. Now let me go into the browser and here it went to sender and let me create something like a receiver as well. So let me go and copy this path. Let me go to the UI and just pass this receiver. Now you are seeing receiver works and let me use sender works. Let me make it zoom. Now you can see sender and the receiver functionalities. Now what I want to do is I want to pass the data from the sender into receiver. So how we can do that? So let me go into our sender logic and let me go into sender HTML. So here what I'll do is I'll create an input field. It's very simple input field and I want to create a button where the button is something like send data and save this. Now this input should send the data to our component. So whatever I am entering in this input field, I want to send that data to our service and that service will give the data to our receiver component. So for that sake, I will use ng model. So let me use an ng model over here and, and this ng model has something called as sender parameter and let me give a name that is nothing but sender and let me use a placeholder enter message save this i want to create this sender parameter in our ts file so let me use a string format and by default it is empty so let me save this now we have a sender param and whenever the user clicks on this let me use a click event and this click event will call a method called as send data this is my function and let me copy this function name and create a function inside our sender component and what it has to do is first thing it has to send the data to our service and then it has to navigate to our receiver component so for that sake let me create a service so what i can do is i can create like ng generate and the service let me use some set of service name. So I can use something like send receive service and I want to skip my test files. So let me use test. And now it created send and receive service. So now what I want to do is I want to inject that service into our sender component. Either you can use inject method or you can use a constructor logic. It's up to you. So I'll use inject method in one component and I'll use a constructor method in another component. So here I'll just use something like send receive service, which is of type send 
receive service and I am just injecting by using our inject method over here and just let me use send receive service. So I'm using an inject method here and what I want to do is I want to utilize this service for saving some data. So let me go into the service and here what I'll do is I'll create two things. Till now we saw only about the variables but now in this we will create the variables as a private and all the setter getter methods will create and utilize them for updating and getting the data from the service. So it is always recommended to utilize a private variables and public methods. So that is a good standards whenever you are creating a service and the variables inside the service because a service is a global state and there may be a possibility of memory leaks. So that's why it is always recommended to use a private variables. So now what I'll do is I'll create a private variable called as message and it accepts the string and that is empty by default. So that is a private variable and whenever you are using a private variables that cannot be used out of the class. So for example, let me go here. I can use something like this dot sender message sender receiver service dot if you see there is no intelligence why because the, the variable whatever we created it is a private variable a private variable cannot be accessed anywhere so that's why let me go here and create something like set message a method and it is public method if you want to follow a proper standards of typescript you can define everything like a written type and a method and this method will receive a value. So let me use something like input and let me use a type of string. So this input I will be sending from our component and that should be stored in our message. So let me use this dot message is equal to I'll use something like an input and by default let's make it as default value just for our understanding. So now I have created a service and this service has a message and that message will be updated whenever I'm calling this set message. So even you can use a private. So now what I'll do is I'll just use one more thing called as public and get message a getter method and it has to return a string value. Let me return this dot message. So I'm just returning this message. Now I'll use this set message to update my value. Let me go here. I can use dot and we can use a set message for this set message. I want to send a value whatever I have entered in my input field. So for that I can use sender param which is an ng modal and whenever there is an update in the input field this particular variable gets updated. This is one thing and now I want to navigate the user from one page to another page after setting the message in our service. So for that sake, I can use something like router service and this is something like a router which is given by angular and I can use something like an inject method the same format and I'm injecting a router service over here. Now after setting the message to the service, I can use this dot router service dot navigate and I can navigate to other route. So let me go here and just get the router value. So for that sake, let me go into app.routing.module and copy this receiver, put it over here in our component. So let me paste here. So once it sets the data in our service, it is navigating to the receiver. And to understand, we are using an ng model. So whenever we are using an ng model, it is always recommended to go and add our forms module. Forms module from our angular forms. So let me save this. Now you can use this forms directives in our application and hence ng model will work for us. So let me close this and let me close this. Now whenever I click on the send data after updating some value it has to navigate into the service and it has to set the message. For our understanding let me go here and let me use something like console.log of input and input value whatever you have entered in the input field that has to be shown in our service. Let me go to the browser and here we have an enter message send data. Let me inspect this go to the console and now let me remove this. So now let me use something like text share skk and let me hit send. So you can see here 
it went into our send receive service it updated our input field and then it went into the receiver works that means receiver component so it is updating our service and then it is going to our receiver component now what i will do is just i'll go back and i'll go into our receiver component what i'll do is i'll use a constructor mechanism here so it's up to you whatever you want to use either a constructor or inject method but i want to show both the cases that's why i'm covering a constructor logic as well as inject method over here so let me create a private variable and the private variable will have a send receive service send receive service let me copy this and put it over here with a small letter s and this is my service injection using a constructor mechanism so now i have injected this now what i want to do is i want to show the value whatever user has entered in our sender component so for that sake i'll use received message or received message and that received message will be by default empty and which is of type string i'm receiving a string type now whenever our constructor is ready then i have this send receive service so i can use this send receive service to get the value whatever it is stored in the service so i can use this dot received message is equal to this dot sender service dot get message because we don't have access to the variable but i am using a getter method to return that variable so now i have received a message and i can use this received message in my html so i am using the same receiver works but i am adding one more h1 parameter where the receiver message will be received so this is something like a received message something like this now whatever the message you will receive or you will send from the sender component that will be visible over here let me go here let me go back into the sender and let me type something like a text share skk and hit this send you can see received message is text share skk that means we are sending the data into the service and we are getting the data from the service so you are getting the value it's absolutely fine but what is the lifetime of a service that means when till what time that variables will hold this whole data in that service layer so actually speaking the scope of the service layer is always until you reload the application that means i didn't reload the application i navigated from one page to another page but once you reload the application all the variables will set to its default value for example in this case if you go into our send receive service the message is having a default value that means whenever you reload the application our message variable will not have the value which was set by sender it will have the value which is set by default here that is nothing but default value so let me go here till now the application was not refreshed now if i refresh this you will see the default value the default value is the value whatever you set in the initial state whenever you are creating a variable if you keep it empty it will show empty over there so that's how you can see the scope of your service the scope of service will always be inside the application until you refresh the page or if you create a service by using a new keyword instead of using an inject or the constructor mechanism then also it will be creating a new service and hence it will set the values to the new values so that is about your services and how to transmit the data from one component or a one page to another page in our angular in my upcoming video i'll tell you if you create a new keyword what are the problems and how to resolve them and is it recommended to use or not and if you are using a new keyword how it behaves so let me show you in the upcoming videos stay tuned for my series and hope this helps to understand about communication between the pages in our angular by using services hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you